Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to actually change the train tracks using the radio components here in game. Now we'll go over the components you'll need, along with that we'll go over how to logic, use the logic, how to wire everything up and then finally we'll actually do a little test here in game and show you how it works. Now if you're enjoying this video, comment below and I'll see you next to you in my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button. I'm going to click a little bell icon to notify me of upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So well said, let's get straight into it and get started with this tutorial. So to get started, we're back here at the harbor area. We're at Correct, we're actually at the North Harbor. Now this is a great location because we have a train workbench just over here. And then we also have the signal switches or signals over there. Now you can see just popping out of the top of it quite far in the distance, but it does have a little radio button there. Um, so what we're going to do is this go and build it now to build it what we're going to do is just jump into the workbench here we're not actually going to be building a work base or like a base to build this on we'll just start on using the components or the area that we have uh we're going to go with a let's use a medium radio why not uh, along with that is we'll need a way of turning it on and off and also a way of getting a signal um so what we're going to do is let's go and put a keypad over there along with that is we'll need a way of actually toggling it to different whether it's on or off okay so that's going to switch the tracks uh and and battery of course we'll need battery so let's go and grab a small little battery because we're here in advanced mode place that down and because we want to carry this thing around with us let's go and use a handle Okay, uh, so put the handle right at the top there. Uh, the last piece we don't really need. Okay, uh, so from there, pretty straightforward, guys. Um, you just want to make sure that this is obviously set to 440. Uh, so we'll do that just now. Battery, we don't need anything on off. Uh, actually, is going to go into our little microprocessor. So the microprocessor is going to go train track controller. Okay, train track controller, don't need anything else. Uh, we just need a one by one actually. We don't actually not one by two, sorry. Uh, go into logic, let's go and add a on off. That will be our switch. And then lastly, we will need a composite out. That's gonna go into our radio. And we go over to our logic, pretty straightforward and pretty simple here. Just need to convert this on and off uh, on channel one. So let's go and put that down just over there. Just to channel one, going straight out into the output of the radio. Let's go and save this as radio train track AMC. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's go back to here, go and grab that, close that off. Uh, go back into our workbench, find it. There it is right there. You can place it down wherever you want. Uh, so this might not be the most compact design, uh, but it works for our example right here. Along with that, uh, let's go and take our toggle button. It's going to go into our controller. Uh, we need transmit mode there also. We then going to need our composite coming from our microprocessor into our radio. And then lastly, we'll need some electricity. Okay, there we go. We've got everything set up. Uh, hopefully that should all work. So let's just go and check. There it is right over there. It is on, let's set that. Now the frequency that you set it to is gonna be 440. That is what interacts with the actual, um, with the uh, train track switches. So if we go and set this to 440, there we go. We can go and drag this. Okay, now you can obviously equip this into any of your creations. Uh, go and build it anyway, or you can have a portable version like I do. Uh, just for this example, portable version is quite nice because we can just run over to the radio, uh, over to the tracks. You can see the little radio sticking out there at the top. Now, remember these do have buttons, but it's much easier to just sit in your train uh, and use this uh, little remote. So you can see there currently, let's go and place that down. Uh, obviously not facing down, but... Uh, Let's go and face it the other way. There we go. Okay. Now you can see the green is facing right. Hopefully, if this is all right, we should be able to press this button. And there we go. It's gone and switched. So you can go and switch it on and off. Uh, this probably actually will be better if you use a push button instead of a toggle button. So I'm just going to return this. Let's go and delete that. And let's go and grab a push button. Okay, perfect. Let's go and get that connected up to some electricity and let's go and get that connected to there and there turn it on and let's go and drag it over to our area here where we want to go and test it off 
Now, you can obviously get a little more complicated with this. Um, you can get it maybe if you want to, to automatically change tracks for you, depending on your location. Um, so that is one thing you could possibly do. As I said, you can build this into any creation that you want to. You can even build into a car if you really want to, or a plane or a helicopter. Uh, but I can see this also being used quite a lot inside uh, trains. Now, the reason why we're doing this tutorial is I've had quite a few questions about this. People have been wondering. Uh, let's go and just get this to 440. Okay, and then hopefully you can see it's pointing to the left, press it once, point to the right, press it again, and point to the left, and vice versa. You can keep on switching it as much as you want. Let's see if we can just move it over here, and let's see if we can get a visual. So you can see there we're just switching it, and we'll also switch the other one because it is the same track at the end. Uh, this is exactly the same track, so it will switch both. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much about it uh, for this video. Nice and sweet, nice and short, uh, but hopefully it helps you guys out and helps you build some trains here in game. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.